ஹார்டி வெல்கம் டு இ கிளாஸ் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டென்த் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி ஜாக்ரஃபி லெசன் மகாராஷ்டிரா ஸ்டேட் போர்ட் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டென்த் லெசன் நம்பர் ஒன் டாபிக் நேம் இஸ் ஃபீல்டு விசிட் வாட் இஸ் ஃபீல்டு விசிட் visiting a place and observing the facts collecting different kinds of information like geographical cultural social historical economical and so on how can we obtain facts there are various methods in collecting facts first we ourselves observe the facts with our own eyes next interviewing with the concerned officials they are working in that local area in government offices like talati office or village administrative office and so on third we can get the back facts from local people the people those who are living residing in that area and finally by studying the documents that are available in the library on the net or other offices and from other sources so in these ways we can obtain facts what are the places to be visited we can visit any place from that we can get ideas knowledge we get information the places like river bank sea shore mountain fort farms plateau railway station hill station factory bus depot bank schools malls theaters and so on we are witnessing some of the pictures of the places can be visited when we are planning for the field visit field visit is being organized with a purpose that purpose can be solved so while selecting we should see all these things and consider everything in our mind and go for field visit what are the aims and the objectives of field visit first to know about the place which we are going to visit next to learn the climatic condition that are prevailing in that region or area to observe the physical and topography of that particular place to acquire knowledge about the people about the area while visiting a place to understand what kind of natural resources are being available when we consider about the natural resource it includes air water soil trees forest wildlife minerals and so on all these will come under the natural resources what are the importance of field visit first and foremost 
to understand various geographical concepts that is very important we do not know about that geographical features but when we reach that area visit that place we can understand and get information about the geographical concepts second we see the elements with their own eyes that means we can observe with our own eyes from that we get the first hand information that is very important next to understand the correlation between the humans and environment without environment we cannot survive our activities our behavior our retaliations everything depend on environment so we have to correlate our activities with the environment so this is very important to learn the sensitivity about the historical economical social cultural facts that is very important what kind of contribution made by that particular area for the society what kind of influence is there in that particular region that will come to know that is the next importance then it makes the subject more interesting the students will get interest while they are going out leaving away from the regular classroom it suppose the application of knowledge we can apply what there what we gained from the visit we can apply it in our day to day work it provides entertainment for students student will enjoy because they are away from the regular class they won't carry any notebooks or books no regular lectures so it will be a entertainment for students it gives excitement the student will be excited about the visit so that curiosity makes them to observe the features in a very systematic way it breaks the daily routine every day we get up early in the morning then get ourselves ready for the school then we go to school then after the school we'll come back to house and we'll have the lunch and take some small rest snack then we move on for the classes so this is our routine one we might be bored about this routine but this field visit changes completely the daily work it refreshes our mind our students mind student will be regenerate with the new spirit when they are going out to observe certain things the modern generation is of full of energy they want new things every day so it automatically refresh their mind by observing new things the field visit makes them more focused for what purpose they have arranged or they are going they will be concentrating with that aim and objectives so they focus about what they want to get from the visit so create the focus 
among the students the field visit also gives opportunity to incorporate classroom activity so whatever they observed learned or seen they try to incorporate in their regular class activity that is very important that gives the practical knowledge that makes them to take decision that is very important nowadays students are facing problem they are not able to take decisions on their own many times they are confused so by taking field visit they will have the value of decision making that is very important the next they know about different social environment usually students they will be in the same place same area they won't go out regularly so when they go for field visit they will communicate with others they will interact with the different people so they will get the idea about or knowledge about different social environment it teaches how to behave in different settings usually we have the same routine setting we know about the neighbor the students they know about their classmate their peer group not only that even their classes friends how they will retaliate or behave that they may familiar with that but when they are going for the field visit it's a different one they will have the idea how to behave a new area how to behave in that area how to talk with them how to react with them so that everything they learn from the field visit next one when they are going out they will learn the self control they are they are they have to work together in a group so they have to control their interest they have to move along with other students that is very important the next one it fosters the sense of teamwork and community that is a great value we cannot do all the things in a individual manner we need the cooperation of others or to complete the work we should take the help of others different persons so it teaches them the teamwork when it teaches the teamwork automatically they will learn about the adjustability that is the next one and they also learn about the community the feel giving the sense of working together society that knowledge that value is being important in a automatic manner in the minds of the students so field visit is very important for every one so the people the student will enjoy the field visit what kind of preparation should we do for field visit it's not a one day work it's not a sudden work it needs certain preparation how the parents they are preparing for the next day food or next day activity how the teachers are preparing for teaching in the class in the same way students should have that preparatory work you are going to appear for the board examination that will be conducted in the month of march or april so you are preparing right from may or june so that preparation makes you to achieve your goal 
so for to reach to attain the goal you are working or you are doing your practice right from the beginning so for that in the same way preparation for the field visit is very important what preparation should be done first you should select the place that is very important field visit we are going with a purpose and aim that purpose should be solved or achieved that is very important so while selecting the place you should see whether it is very good for the students to be visited it should not be a dangerous place or a risky place or any kind of communal class or any other uh, untoward incident should not take that place so you should keep everything in your mind safety first based on that selection should be done next purpose what purpose is there you have come to standard 10th your purpose is to be successful in ssc exam you should pass with the higher percentage of mark and you should go to the higher education that is your purpose in the same way visiting a place must have a purpose that is the second preparation the third one schedule for the visit after you have selected the place and fixed your purpose you should schedule on which date you should go time and what kind of transport mode of transport that you should fix it that is very important then you should carry location map of course the location map we are getting online nowadays if you go to google map you will get the location map but you don't depend on only the google map you have to prepare the map with the help of your subject teacher geography teacher so that you will get the idea what kind of difficulties or what are the things should be kept in your mind while preparing the map while preparing the route so you will learn get the idea that is very important that gives the work to your mind so that you can go in a very easy manner without any destruction so location map is very important and the most important one is the questionnaire you have to prepare questionnaire and the questionnaire must have the questions which are all covering the all part of which covers the all part of that area suppose take for example if you are going to visit a mall so you should write very simple questions it should not be a big questions or a essay type question objective questions are very good so that when you are interviewing with the local people or the people you are meeting in that area while at the time of field visit they can answer very quickly okay so that you should prepare question name of the mall where is it located what is the area how many people are working in that one how many, when when was it established who was who is the owner or who are the partners and what kind of goods are being sold how much area it spreads and what are the uh, main uniqueness of the mall and not only that how many people are coming what kind of product what type of uh, product and what is their selling method or receiving counter method or checking method price rate price tag display all these things like that you should uh, add in your question paper so that you can get complete idea about or details about the field or the area the next one the important documents and letters you have to 
prefer letters and get permissions so that you can go to that place without any restriction undue delay won't be there so preparation is very important wherever the permission should be there you should write a letter and take permission wherever reservation is must so you have to reserve the place and that is very important any government uh, procedure is there you have to fulfill that procedures so these are the preparatory work for the field visit the next one what are the things to be carried when you are going for the field visit you cannot go with a empty hand you have to carry certain things because we are going with a purpose that purpose should be solved you should carry a notebook to take points and pen to write i card is very important because you are going to a unknown place the new place and pencil should be there to draw or to collect information scale bags you should carry bags for collecting samples you may see different types of soil different types of leaves different types of minerals many things so everything should be collected then and there and put it in the bag camera compass to see the direction whether you are traveling in the right direction then questioner you should not forget the questioner map snacks for you water bottle cap measuring tape first aid binocular match box and so on many things even the things that are not mentioned in this list can be taken so without the thing or without the materials you should not go for the field visit what precautions to be taken that is the most important one because wherever we go we should be safe so you should keep certain precautionary steps so that any untoward incident will not be taken first ensure the safety of oneself himself or herself first after that the safety of others everyone should be safe don't be selfish only i will take care of my uh, safety no it's not like that we are going in a team we are going in a group so group should be safe so you should look after the safety of others too carry your identity card that is very important new place unknown place you may not aware about the place so i card must be there so the people they can see yes these people are from other area new to this area by looking at you they will come to know carry first aid box that is very important strictly obey the instructions that given by the teachers given by the elders or given by the officers working in that area or given by the local people that is very important local people they will be very helpful and not to harm the environment we had we have the habit of destroying the environment scribbling on the or engraving on the walls or the tree or the monuments that should be avoided because the other people from other countries people from other states other district other villages they will come and see so it should give a beautiful look it should be observed as a very beautiful area so that everyone can come and see visit that place and next very important point is gather information about local circumstances from the local people that is very very important they will only know you may get information about the particular area from google or by studying from any textbook or anything but local people they have the practical experience so you should get information from the local people
do not wear expensive materials expensive materials are not required because we do not know about the area that's why how to manage litter it's a big question because we may carry so many things and we'll try to throw out the damaging the environment making the place untidy and unclean so to avoid that one we have to keep the place restoring the neatness cleanliness of the place that is in our hand so you have to take certain steps that is managing the litter you should carry containers or bags or dustbin to collect the litter what are the waste you should put in that bags or container or dustbin inform every one not to dump trash or waste on the field not to throw simply they have to put or drop only in the dustbin or the bag provided for that create awareness about the cleanliness you can make placards you can keep banners so that you can create awareness the people the students they can see and they can use the dustbin you may have observed in your surrounding area people while they go for a work they may throw the garbages okay from their from their bike or bus or any uh, transport system even while they are going on foot they used to throw you should not throw like that you have to put the waste or your litter your garbage in the dustbin only and another important method you should inform local officials to take immediate remedial action against the litter so if you are informing the corporation or the municipality or the village administration they may take action to clean that area that is the next very important one and if you have visited the place and returned back means your 50 percentage of the work has been done and the remaining 50 percent is the report writing report writing must be done by the student and it should be in a very systematic order it should be a colorful one attractive one so that people those who are reading the report will get enthusiasm interest to visit the particular place so it should be in such a attractive way what are the headings or topics should be covered when you are writing report first introduction you should write about the place which you have visited that is introduction second aims objectives and importance all these things should be mentioned then you have to present the information physical features rivers lakes dams climate rainfall forests and other natural resources all these informations must be covered are written while you are writing the report next you should write about the population that is very important their occupation their standard their diet their culture their dress etc what kind of houses are seen found that is very important write about the houses write about the transport what kind of or mode of transport used by them that you should mention and at last you should write the conclusion conclusion must have the work what improvement you need according to your point of view that you should mention so that the places place can be improved 
then acknowledgement those who have helped you and bibliography from where you got the informations all these things you should mention in the report writing so all these topics based on the board exam question board exam question they will ask like this so the each heading is one one uh, question answer so you should prepare now let's move on to the uh, detail what things should be there pie diagram graph photograph charts table all these things should be covered so that your report writing will be very colorful and interesting now we'll come to the textbook let me give the glance about the textbook naldurg in wasmanabad to alibag in raiga district the students are going to visit alibag from naldurg and they are planning about their breakfast and lunch they have planned to have their breakfast in solapur and lunch in senagar this is the route map you are seeing from usmanabad naldur village to raigad alibag so from eastern side to western side seesore side coastal side they are going to visit when they started from their school naldur they started enjoying the scenery the topography was undulating ups and downs it is a raised to one and the low one like that ups and downs then they go after that they have seen the plain region agricultural activity is carried out and in that area small settlement since it is a rural area the settlements are small and they have come to the balka trench it's a rural area houses are straight houses some houses are built in clay some in mud some in wood and the roofs of the houses are made up of dry grass they entered the forest region the forest they set their leaves during summer season the deciduous forest set their leaves in order to avoid the huge evaporation or over evaporation so they set their leaves and linear settlements you can find linear settlement means the settlements on both the sides of the road nearby roads that is called linear settlements and even traditional settlements or traditional settlements to that is found when they crossed or passing through then they have reached the solapur city is a city because the people in that area is in large number so high density of population is a urban one or a town one city one and they observed multi story or the buildings apartments or skyscrapers and the houses are constructed with cement sand rubbles they found on the road many shopping malls restaurant so the people they have the good life and the lifestyle is a improved or advanced one uh, while crossing the solapur and the outsider of the solapur they have seen the green field cultivating different crops moong dal udit dal sugarcane moong and udit that and along with that sugarcane are cultivated nearer to the solapur field next they saw a canal and not only that a big dam constructed across the river bima udni dam it is a multi purpose dam or reservoir the water in the dam stored for various purposes 
it is used for drinking used for producing hydel power is used for fishing activity irrigation purpose and it is a plain region so they enjoyed the area the trees that are common found in that area are anjan banyan people these are the major trees found while they were crossing then they reached sinagat fort this fort is on hill in naldur they have they have seen one fort that is on the plain land and the second here they are observing the fort are visiting the uh, fort this fort is constructed on the top of the hill and about this fort all the informations engraved are given at the entrance itself the fort was constructed with basalt and igneous rocks nalduk fort tells that was constructed on the plain region land tells about the heritage and even this fort tells about the importance and culture of this place from there they saw the reservoir kadak basla dam this dam provides drinking water all the needs of the pune city the entrance of the fort is called kalyan dwaraja is a gate through this gate we should enter into the fort inside the fort there is a tank it is observed as the sacred tank consider as a holy tank it is dev tank this water is a natural spring throughout the year you can see water near that fort markets wholesale and retail shops are there this is the view point from rajmagi point near ronawala that means at the top of the fort you can see observe the entire surrounding is a plain road is going hilly region all around sparse houses houses are not together here and there the houses are there and they also experience the kandala ghat there they saw dense forest the forest in that area the trees they have broad leaves then they started moving they experienced the change in the climate weather the weather is hot now started sweating perspiring precipitation started increase in humidity then at last they reach their dest destination ali bag in the raigad district they saw the village administrative office talati office and they also observe the fort which was constructed in water and they also observed the wave cut platform that means see eroded the coastal line it appears like a platform so that is why it is called as wave cut platform the people in alibak they engaged in primary occupation fishing and agriculture both depend on nature so they depend depend on the nature for their livelihood cultivated coconut betel nut some spices 
banana, jackfruit. These are the some of the crops that are being cultivated in Alibag. What about the Alibag today? Today, it is a very important tourist spot. People from various places, they are visiting their area to see the fort, to enjoy the water sports. The native people, they are getting their lively income by organizing water sports. Various fun activities are there. So they get their livelihood. Not only that, even restaurant, their food style is also attracting. So tourism turns into a very important one nowadays. That's all in this lesson. Have a great day ahead and learn whatever you have learned. Keep it in your mind. Revise so that you can study very well. Thank you for watching. I hope we will continue. Meet in the next lecture session.